do 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 Yo, how's it going everybody and welcome to Breath of the Wild. We are back to where we left off, so I am hoping that is where everything is. <laughs> Alright, well anyways, I hope you all are having a wonderful day. Yeah. Alright, so we're going to continue off to where we left off. We are going to the shrines. Ooh. Yahoo! I missed. Yeah! I'll take that cobbling arm. Thank you very much. Huh. So, I'm assuming the Picard ones don't straight up die, die. Ooh, what's that? It's a lizard! Ah, get it! Dang, I missed it. Alright, so I need to get to, um... Do, 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 do. Actually, let's do this. Because I know there should be one... There should be one close to the tower, so let's make it as easy as possible to where the video isn't as long, and then we can just continue from there, shall we? So I hope you guys are having a wonderful and grand magical day, because I know I am. And it's not going to go down. Oh god, he's up here. What's up, old man? <laughs> Well, you certainly look at the time. It's like, did you forget how they travel instantly? Uh, no, I remember. Now then, I wanted the, you. I wanted you to join me up here so you could use this as a vantage point. Did you know about the scope on your secret save? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know about that. Hmm. It's like I got it. Go ahead and take a look if you feel okay. So, all right. I know that there's a point. Do 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 do. Alright. Let's see. That one's been. That one's good. Alright. And there's one. And. Oh my god, why, why are you doing it? Okay, and there's that one. Alright, so now I can just go to those. I don't need to climb down. I can just do this. Not gonna lie, I thought I was gonna fall. To be honest, when, uh, when I saw that. Alright, so we're gonna head toward this one. Because it's the closest, and then we'll make our way over to, uh... I got fire arrows, and I think the Pacoblins are asleep. So, if that's the case... Yeah, I missed. Yeah, I took that. Thank you. Oh, no, we got a Pacoblin. It's like, actually, like, awake, awake. Alright. There you go. And we're gonna use fire real quick. And we're gonna do this. Yahoo. And boom. Oh, you still alive. Oh, not anymore. Alright. So, we're gonna get more fire arrows, so... It's alright. I probably... It's... Ooh, I got Bacoblin goods. Nice, 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 nice. Keese's wings. Are Keese's in here? <laughs> alright, let's see. 
spike. Okay, I'm going. Yeah, I'll take that. And let's equip the moving hands, shall we? Alright. Alright. So we're gonna go to. Do, do, do. I don't think I can carry any more bows, but this one's good. Alright. Um. I'm pretty sure a lot of people didn't know about this game. Is when you go to the uh, the snow area up here, there will be a uh, place. I'm not fighting you, my dude. Oh no, not the keys. Oh well. Wow. Oh, I see the shrine. It's right there. I'm just sitting here trying to get there as fast as I can. See, I just love how they added, like, some sort of physics. In the, in the game where um, he basically, like, runs down faster when he's climbing hills. And I, I just think that's pretty dope. Oh, crap. <laughs> Let me alone, skeletons! Uh, we're skipping this! We're gonna go! Go, go, go! No, stop jumping, stop jumping! Skip, skip, skip! <gasps> Let's get your bombs! We're getting around you! We're getting a square bomb! So, well, uh, let's do this! Let's, let's, let's go! Alright. So. I actually like the whole concept of the, um, like, the Shika stuff. To be honest, I actually like the whole concept. The only thing that I kind of disliked about it was how they didn't utilize most of them. Like, yes, I know that for part of it, you can, like, cheese the system. But, uh, but it's not like, but it's not like where it really needs to be at. But to me, I think it's pretty decent. So we got a good claim on, but, uh, we got. Uh, screw that. Do, do, do. I got so many of those. Let's just have two of those. So, yeah, just throw that. And I'll take this because a Claymore is actually a pretty decent starting weapon, to be honest. Ooh, man, I almost took that L. But, uh... So, I don't really understand why I have to do this, when I can just do this and, uh, oops, my bad. I can just do this, like, seriously, like, like, you, you don't, you don't have to, like, <laughs> place it. So we're gonna drop it right here and I'm just gonna do this. Oh my. Nah. It'd be kinda nice if I could climb that, but no I can't. Uh yeah, I forgot there's like a uh, thing over there I can go, but uh if I recall it was it wasn't something like it wasn't a weapon. I think it was like a opal or an amber kind of thing. You're resourceful to overcome the trials. Mm. Alright, so now we got two and we just need three more. And then after that we'll go to the uh, 
to the Temple of Time, we'll get our paraglider. And I pray to God that the game audio will be to where it needs to be. But <laughs> sometimes it doesn't work that way because it's it acts up. It's morning. It's morning, guys. He threw rocks at me. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> they threw rocks at me and he had a traveler sword? Please. Please. What, 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 what was that? Call, there's supposed to be like something on like the edge of one of these, I think, uh, but I don't recall. So we're just gonna go, uh, we're just gonna go over here and we're gonna go and get the um, the next shrine. And I don't think I have any, uh, I don't think I have an axe now. Well, the good news is I'll be getting an axe, which is pretty good. So, uh, Ooh, uh, I forgot about this. Well, the good news is, uh, we got something uh, funny we can witness. That's uh, pretty interesting, and they'll uh, one shot these uh, Bacoblins if they hit them. Oh, I don't want to do that. Let's go with the arrows. Yeah. They'll start running. <laughs> oh! Alright, and while that happens, I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna take this. So. There's that. I took their thing. And I just think they're just going to mind their own business. So we're going to go and make some uh, stuff for uh, us to climb a little bit faster. Not the fastest, but it's uh, a lot better than nothing. To be honest, so uh, we're going to go and take that and we're going to go on over here and we're gonna kill this bird Doof. all right nice we're gonna take a torch because the torch will actually be very useful later on even though I think there's like a oh wait I'm thinking of Dark Souls for a moment my bad um, I really do need a actual weapon. So, let's get rid of this. Because I do need this axe. So, I'm going to need another bird. So, there's that. Mm, looks like it's about to rain, so we're going to do this. We're going to wait till it's morning. And I hope it doesn't rain, because that would be kind of bad. Alright, so we got the wind. Alright, so let's... I only got two peppers. Usually I have three peppers. Do do. Alright, so... 
Alright. So we're gonna hold, hold, and then we're gonna do this. And then we're gonna cook. Alright, we're gonna skip. So we got a five minute steak. Not the best. Hold, 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 and we're gonna cook. And we got a hasty meat and skewer mushroom. Alright. So we're gonna go over here. Um, when you cut these down, be careful because the placement you actually are in will actually determine where it falls, but you don't want to do a spin spin like this. Because over half the time, it doesn't want to work that way. Oh, man, almost fell. <laughs> oh, boy. That would have been bad. You don't see me, buddy. You did, and you don't want any smoke, and you did. All right, nice, nice. I'll take this stuff because I can sell it. A uh, spear wouldn't be bad to have. I probably can't take it. Yep. All right, so we're gonna throw this and put in. Let's see what we get inside this chest, shall we? Some more fire arrows. That's a lot of fire arrows. Um, when we climb up the snow area of the mountain, we gotta be kind of quick when we do it. Because there's a... Uh, There's a, um, this one's the one for climbing, right? Yeah. So we're going to eat this one. No! Man, dang, I thought I could have made it. See, I don't understand why the climbing aspect takes more of the stamina than the swimming one. Because I, I, I wouldn't have mind if they made it to work. Uh, I thought you were going to take the uh, mushroom, but uh, I guess not. But I feel like he covers a lot more distance if you go side to side when you climb. Like, instead of doing that, I feel like if I did this, I covered a lot more distance. <laughs> But uh, we're going to do a quick jump here because I know for a fact that we can get there. And we can probably uh, get the right there. So we can do two jumps and get to this platform. And then I think we'll be doing the uh, stasis to where we uh, freeze the time. And boom, there we go. And alright, here we are. We're at our third. And then we'll be going to the uh then we'll be going to talk to the old man to get the warm garments. Which will be better than uh nothing. Because it'll be what keeps us warm. Oh, still would have been better if we could actually, and I mean actually, and what I mean actually, be able to skip these cutscenes, man. Like, we don't want to wait here and witness these cutscenes. No, we just want to play the game and get on. Uh, so, future updates about the channel. Uh, tomorrow, I am going to be playing Resident Evil Village. It'll actually be the very first uh, Legend of... Nah, not Legend of Zelda. It'll be the first uh, Resident Evil game I actually probably play. Alright, um, can I just, like, undo that? Nope.
Alright, so when this goes, I'm gonna book it. Alright. So there's that. And then when the stone gets there, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna run all the way over here and get this real quick. Alright, we got a traveler shield. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Um, I don't think I have enough, so... Goodbye! I would like to have the sledgehammer. You can do a lot of crazy stuff with uh, the time. Like, you can, like, cover large amount of distance just by chopping down a tree, stopping it, climb on it, and then fly with the tree. And it's... It's pretty awesome, if you ask me. It's just awesome. Alright, so we got our third orb... The green Yodas, the shriveled up old Yodas, they're disappearing. Ah, freezing climate. Some ingredients will freeze if submerged in ice cold water or when left out in the frigid regions. Alright. So now. So now I'm actually going to climb up here. Because this is where I should start climbing. And right about here, when I get to around this part, I should start getting filling the code. Alright. The fact that I haven't taken any uh, damage yet was uh, quite amazing. All right, so now we got code resistance. All right. So now we're heading up to there. Real quick. Because that is where the old man is going to be at. And that is what we kind of need. I know that we're heading to the right place, but, uh... We're just going to head up here because we'll get the, um, code-resistant garments. Because it'll be a very breathtaking view. And Link will be like, it's breathtaking! <laughs> so, uh... So yeah, we're just gonna climb up here. And there's the old man, and here we are. We're just gonna talk to him. Uh, it's a breathtaking view, and it really is a breathtaking view. Look for shrines. Did you make it well this far? Please take this. So we got the code resistance. Alright, so thank you. And we're gonna equip. Alright. Do, 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 do. And the shrine is this way. Alright. Alright, so I do know that we can die by doing this, so. We're going to slowly climb down to a certain point. 
I think this is a good spot. Alright. Um, I could have went and did the Koroks. The rock for the Koroks. But I didn't. And I believe this is the last one, and then I'll teleport to the tower. And we'll continue on our journey. <laughs> I, I still will never get it over. I'll never get over the hell many times that I've tried recording this and the game audio was off to where it just does that. <laughs> oh, I can't. I just can't. I just can't get over it. <laughs> oh! <sighs> do you all ever just sit here and wonder to yourselves, do you all ever have a mating call that you would call someone to be like, to get their attention, to be like, hey, you... Yeah, I'm talking to you. <laughs> Something like that. And people are just like, oh, why did I marry this person? <laughs> oh, that'd be very, very interesting. Uh, see how some people would react. So here we go again with the Nether Shrine. We're getting the Ice Shrine this time. It's the authenticating rune. Authenticating! 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 Oh god, it's authenticating! Nice. That's pretty good. Create a pillar of ice. Nice. Alright. Thank you. And then I think with our first... Alright. <laughs> 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 I want to get this stuff. So what do I get? I got a traveler spear. Not that, not that good. It's not that great of a weapon. Uh, there's a better spear. That's a throwing spear. Oh god. And we're gonna freeze that. And there we go. All right. Um, I feel like there's, like, something over here, and, like, like, I just feel like there's, like, certain stuff over there, so, like, if we come back here with, um, the, the ability to, like, fly up, I feel like we'll probably get a better chance to see how things go. Alright. So, we got that. Alright. So we got all the shrines and all the orbs. So now all we gotta do is just. Oh god. What happened? Okay. I was gonna be like, geez, it's taking quite a while for it to uh, load back up. Alright. Oh! Old man, give me my paraglider, please. This you now have acquired all the spirit orbs from the shrines on this plateau. Oh ho, extraordinary. That means it's finally time. Link, it is finally time for me to tell you everything. But first, imagine an X on your map with the four shrines at the endpoints. Find the spot who those lines intersect. I shall wait for you there. Now be the Temple of Time. Obviously. As I'm a ghost. Ooh. It goes on and on and on. It's almost a ghost. I bet. So we're gonna go here. 
And yes, we're going to teleport to that shrine because I believe that is the closest to actually getting us there. Take a peek at your controls at any time by opening the plus menu and checking under the system. If you're in a hurry to climb somewhere... Rude game. I was reading, but okay. I can't read fast, but okay. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. Yeah. Hey. So I want to try this out. Okay. Let's get the X. So, probably a bad, bad spot to try it at. So, let's do this one. Alright, there we go. Dang. Well, that didn't work. Oh well. Oh well, it didn't work. Well, the good news is it uh, did this. <laughs> that was uh, convenient. In a weird, odd kind of way. Yeah! Well, the good news is I got some bombs, so I can do this now. Actually, I think I should do this one. Alright, so... Yeah. And boom. So, what are we going to get out of this chest? I wonder. We're getting an opal. Alright. Worth a lot of money. Worth a lot of money. Alright, so before we talk to the old geezer, we're going to go and get our first heart container. Believe it or not. I think the what I want to do is do every two, two heart containers, I'll do one vessel. One stamina vessel is how I want to do it. Because in order to actually like beat the game, you need like 13. Well, not 13. In order to get the Master Sword, you need 13 hearts, so. Yeah, we'll do the uh, vessel. The heart container vessel. He'll talk to us. The blessing of the goddess has made you that much more resilient. I see. Here I am. Get up here quickly. I'm about to fade into nothingness. Oh. <laughs> My failed attempt of trying to scream. No. Wait a minute. The ladder is over here. No, do we? All right. Alright, so we're going to climb up here. Come on. Alright. Alright, so let's jump. And let's continue on to this. Alright. Alright, so everybody enjoyed the cutscene. The time has come to show you who I truly am. I was King Rome Bosphoramus Hyrule. I was the last leader of Hyrule. A kingdom which no longer exists.
The Great Calamity was merciless. It devastated everything in its path, lo, a century ago. It was then that my life was taken away from me. And since that time, here I have remained in spirit form. I did not think it wise to overwhelm you while your memory was still fragile. So rather than that, I thought it best to assume a temporary form. Forgive me. I think you are now ready. Ready to hear what happened 100 years ago. To know Calamity Ganon's true form, one must know the story from an age long past. The Demon King was born into this kingdom, but his transformation into malice created the horror you see now. Stories of Ganon were passed from generation to generation in the form of legends and fairy tales. But there was also a prophecy. The signs of a resurrection of Calamity Ganon are clear, and the power to oppose it lies dormant beneath the ground. We decided to heed the prophecy and began excavating large areas of land. It wasn't long before we discovered several ancient relics made by the hands of our distant ancestors. These relics, the Divine Beasts, were giant machines piloted by warriors. We also found the Guardians, an army of mechanical soldiers who fought autonomously. This coincided with ancient legends oft repeated throughout our land. We also learned of a princess with a sacred power and her appointed knight chosen by the sword that seals the darkness. It was they who sealed Ganon away using the power of these ancient relics. One hundred years ago, there was a princess set to inherit a sacred power and a skilled knight at her side. It was clear that we must follow our ancestors' path. We selected four skilled individuals from across Hyrule and tasked them with the duty of piloting the Divine Beasts. With the Princess as their commander, we dubbed these pilots Champions, a name that would solidify their unique bond. The Princess, her appointed knight, and the rest of the Champions were on the brink of sealing away Ganon. But nay. Ganon was cunning, and he responded with a plan beyond our imagining. He appeared from deep below Hyrule Castle, seized control of the Guardians and the Divine Beasts. Us. The champions lost their lives, those residing in the castle as well. The appointed knight gravely collapsed while defending the princess. And thus, the kingdom of Hyrule was devastated absolutely by Calamity Ganon. However, the princess survived to face Ganon alone. Link, you are our final hope. The fate of Hyrule rests with you. That princess was my own daughter, my dear Zelda. And the courageous knight who protected her right up to the very end. That night was none other than you, Link. You fought valiantly when your fate took an unfortunate turn. And then you were taken to the Shrine of Resurrection. Here you now stand, revitalized 100 years later. The words of guidance you have been hearing since your awakening are from Princess Zelda herself. Even now, 
as she works to restrain Ganon from within Hyrule Castle. She calls out for your help. However, my daughter's power will soon be exhausted. Once that happens, Ganon will freely regenerate himself, and nothing will stop him from consuming our land. Considering that I could not save my own kingdom, I have no right to ask this of you, Link. But I am powerless here. You must save her, my daughter, and do whatever it takes to annihilate Ganon. Somehow, Ganon has maintained control over all four divine beasts, as well as those guardians swarming around Hyrule Castle. I believe it would be quite reckless for you to head directly to the castle at this point. I suggest that you make your way east out to one of the villages in the wilderness. Follow the road out to Kakariko village. There you will find the elder Impa. She will tell you more about the path that lies ahead. Consult the map on your Shika slate for the precise location of Kakariko village. Make your way past the twin summits of the dueling peaks. From there, follow the road as it proceeds north. Alright. Now we're back, everybody. Alright. I don't know why the game decided to do that. It was in the middle of a cutscene, man. I don't know why it had to do that. So we finally got the paraglider. So, we're gonna go and get out of this wretched place. Hmm. Link, you must save Hyrule! Cause I'm a ghost. Alright. So, here we go. Oh! Flying our way down to the wonderful worlds of the unknown! <laughs> The bacoblins aren't resting there. Okay, I see you. So, let's uh, continue on our uh, merry way. And let's go over here. And then we're just gonna fly. Yeah, this stuff is like <coughs> quicksand. Which is weird. Alright. Yeah. Gonna break two and one stone. And boom. Let's see what I get. I got a big apple. How hard can this push? Alright. Yeah. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Let's go to the top of this. Uh, I feel like, I feel like I'm not, all right, there we go, <laughs> that was like, wait a minute, okay, so we got a third one, all right, so this has been Breath of the Wild, guys, we just now got out of the plateau, and we can now explore freely, so we're going to go to this tower, is where we're going to go to next. 
and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, everybody. Peace out. I hope you all have a good one. Bye-bye. And stay safe, everybody. Peace out.